Hi, King Boomer. I cannot decide whether you look like a Civil War general or a communist dictator, but either way, I don't like it. What's going on, Booms? How we doing? Hope everybody's in good spirits today. Uh, this is a follow-up reaction, because I just did the uh, working class one from Harry Enfield, so... I saw this in the recommended feed. This is uh, Harry Enfield with Life in the Year 2000. I don't know when he made this. I'm assuming it's like after the year 2000, probably like early 2000s. But uh, it's always good to see these little old reels of how they try to uh, <laughs> predict things and whatnot. So Life in the Year 2000 from the perspective of a uh, gentleman from 1933. Is that usually when these... Reels happen. I know that's the Arsenal 1933, but uh, we'll see what they think the future would have been like from their perspective. I love these. I love doing these reactions with Harry Enfield, these old school ones. It's it's beyond hilarious to me. Let's get let's get into it. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want, and let's see how they portray what uh, the olden days would have thought of the year 2000. Here we go. me? Is it really only 63 years into the year 2001? I wonder what life will be like in the next millennium, Mr. Chum de Porter. Well, Bless, <laughs> new century will bring exciting prospects for us. Yes, of course. We'll be dead. <laughs> yes. But I wonder what life will be like for our descendants. Let's take a look, shall we? Yes, let's take a look. Life in the year 2001 will be a lot more pleasant than life today. The railways will be given to private companies to be run more efficiently. <laughs> the fucking finger came across. I didn't even get footage of a real train. Life in the year oh, look at that shit again. Will be a lot more pleasant than life today. The railways will be given to private companies to be run more efficiently. <laughs> I see the 1042 is on time as usual. Yes. Since the railways were privatized, all the trains run on time as usual. <laughs> Clothes will have changed radically. Fashionable young ladies will wear jewelry in their exposed midriff. Oh, no. Hello, Cicely. Hello, Agatha. That's a lovely brooch. <laughs> yes. Yo. Uh, is that still like uh, I, I imagine it is it's still popular among the, among the uh, young ladies um, I remember when that first started becoming like a big thing I don't disapprove of it but there's once you hit a <laughs> I probably get in trouble for saying this but I think once you hit a certain weight um, you should probably not do that. You know, it's it's just my opinion. Uh, I and hey, I don't have much room to talk, so you know, I would never do that. Anyway. The year two thousand will be celebrated in London by the construction of Britain's greatest architectural masterpiece, the Millennium Tupperware Bow. <laughs> Billions of subjects from all over the empire will flock to Greenwich would mar the almost like a real beach zone. <laughs> well, I'm glad I came all the way from Australia to see this. Yeah. <laughs> the splendid zone. <laughs> well, this is splendid, isn't it? It's so random. Yikes. And here is the greatest marvel of them all. The enormous turkey. <laughs> Achievement. What the hell? Other advances will have been made in the world of home entertainment. Gramophone records will be so small, they can fit in the palm of your hand. They'll be played on portable gramophone record players, casually called portable gramophone men. The people on the move. <laughs> yeah. Every home oh. will now have a computer. And they do, usually. Everything all right, dear? My computer has 
just crashed again. <laughs> Brilliant. Some of the most important advances will have been in politics. Ladies like this one will have been liberated by the ladies' liberation movement. They'll now hold some of the most senior positions in society. Evening, dear. Good evening, darling. How's your day as chair lady of the Bank of England? Well, it's a hard job being chair lady of the Bank of England, but I managed to stabilize the pound. What a clever little thing you are. Now put my children to bed, make my dinner and darn my socks, would you, dear? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, my God, they, they get the power, but they still got it. Oh. Oh, my God. The man just doesn't do shit. He just smokes a pipe. Then reads the paper. <laughs> she does all the work. She rears all the children. She cooks all the food. She does all the laundry. <laughs> That's fucked up. It's funny, but it's fucked up. I like how you know you they they're giving it they're giving it like realistic expectations from the time that it was it was made quote unquote because it's a spoof but um <laughs> they think all the way in the future like women still even if they do get um higher position jobs or in this case a very high position job they still got to do all the rest of the stuff that they were traditionally doing it's fucked up it's funny though uh, but there will be downsides to life in the next century people will be tempted by a vast array of mind-bending drugs like this <laughs> that i'm about to take it's called jollity and suddenly i feel an enormous compulsion coming on to have it large yes we have Oh man. Police, please. Good night, Mr. Chubble Horner. Good night, Crescent. I like how they still have they do those goofy edits, man. Whether it's uh that last one that you just saw or Changing them to coffins or the fucking train. The train killed me when the train goes across and you see his finger pushing it across. Little thing details like that are it's just absolutely brilliant to me. I, I love that they put those little details in these skits. But uh Harry Enfield life in the year two thousand. I mean it basically like most of it was uh I have to the the dome thing I didn't quite understand. Maybe somebody can help me out with that one. Which I don't know where they were going with that, but everything else is pretty much accurate. J just uh, with the technology, they're just they just had to update the technology, you know, because a computer doesn't look like that anymore. Um, thinking if <laughs> you're gonna have stuff in your ears instead of cranking around one of those things while you're running, so they got that kind of stuff right. Um, but it's just, it's funny. It, Harry Enfield sketches are brilliant. And I think these old school real sketches that he does are, are probably the best ones that he, that he does from, from what I've seen. But man, that, that, the, the woman was head of the bank of England and then she's going to do all the rest of the stuff too. That was fucked up. <laughs> that was fucked up. Uh, Man. Remember, it's in ske sketched, so please don't get mad at me. And for the ladies who have belly button uh, um, jewelry, by all means, well, I'm all for it. So if you want to come after me for saying you got to be a certain weight to wear those, uh, to trust me, I know. But I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And if you have any, uh, if there's any of these old real Harry Enfield sketches that I'm missing, that I haven't done yet, please put them in the suggestions below. Because there's a, every like couple weeks I'll get one thrown in my feed and I'm like, oh, I haven't seen this one before. So I'm always on the lookout for them. So like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And I'll see you all again soon. All right. Peace out, Boomerites. Have a great day today.